Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 8 of the JBTA training. In this day, we'll talk about the configuration element. So if I go back to here in this JBTA element, there are various important element factor do we have. So we have the thread groups. We discussed already the thread groups, how we can use the thread groups and then uh, how can we define that um, number of user count. We discussed about the sum player. Using the sampler, we can select the HTTP sampler, we can select the um, LDAP sampler. We discuss about listener. Listener is used to uh, graphing that or maybe uh, we can uh, we discuss that how we can represent the data. So that is used for the listener. We discuss about the assertions. So how the assertions can be uh, help us to identify that this request got success on basis of response, on basis of um, the header, these things. Now today we'll talk about the configuration element. So um, let's uh, start with that configuration element. So if you see that the, uh, the definition, the configuration element can be used to set up default and variables for later used by sampler. So basically configuration element is uh, used to create the variables and that variable can be used in our sampler later. Note, these elements are processed at the start of the scope in which they are found before any sampler in the scope, um, same scope. So basically, what they are meant to be. So in this scope, if you see that we have a sampler called HTTP request. So if we add any uh, configuration item, so under this scope or under this uh, HTTP request, before this HTTP request, uh, um, you know, executed, the sum, uh, the configuration element will be executed. So let's understand how the configuration element is useful. So let's understand that. Uh, let's say that uh, here we are calling this, uh, you know, this path, right? So, um, uh, so let's say that in this, uh, in this thread group, we are calling multiple sampler. We are calling two sampler. So we can just go to here and add I, our uh, you know configuration element. Under this configuration element, there are many configuration element are there. So let's say that we have a CSV dataset configuration, we have HTTP header man uh, manager, HTTP cookies manager. So any of this sampler, any of this configuration item can be uh, added. So today we'll first talk about that user defined variable. So what is the user defined variable? Uh, so let's say that user defined variable is nothing but it's a, um, you know, the variable that can be used in a later case. Okay. So it's a kind of variable that we can define and that can be used in later part. Okay. So let, how can we use that? Under this HTTP request, we are going to call this um, server, right? So you will copy this name and then here under this user defined variable, we can have we have that uh, name pr value we can define that called host and then here we can define this value okay so once we use the name called host and then the value can be uh, put that this is uh, i mean we don't need to use any anywhere other than this one okay okay so how can it help us so we can go to here and then instead of this one, we can just remove that and then dollar curly braces, we can define that host this variable. Okay. And then we can run that and then we can, once we run that, it will be executed based on that. So let's see. So I just run that and then there are three requests success and two requests, uh, um, you know, the uh, I mean three requests fail and two requests success because of this time taking some of the time it takes some more time so what i'll do i'll just change that to 2000 and clear this value and then run again so now if you see that all the request got success and then if you see the request and then under the request you can see actually json uh placeholder here it is working as per um you know our uh, request now what we can do this host name is this host is actually here i know uh here i just put these variables i don't define i mean i don't put i don't need to put that okay right so what we can do here even in this uh you know http request we can put that http request and then dollar and then host what will be happen i'll just quickly show you that 
I I just uh, did that and what will be happen if we execute this one and then one once you put that you can see uh, it, with the help of this variable I don't need to put this name it is just uh, I mean this variable can be used anywhere in this whole uh, uh, request or whole mapping wherever we are using everywhere we can use this one so basically variable can be defined and that variable can be used any other places to do that what we have to do simply you have to put that uh, add the user defined variable configuration under this you have to be put this um, whatever variables value you want to put and you need to define that name and that variable name can be used any of this your configuration okay so that's it for today. In our next session, we will talk about that how we can dynamically um, get the request from the Excel sheet and then call multiple times the request. So till the time, thank you very much. Have a great day.